Hey guys, this is Cindy, and I was just going to show you some things I picked up at uh, yard sales today. It was a good day for it, finally. Um, we've been rained out just about every weekend this spring, so I'm going to try to rearrange my sewing machine that's in the way here, so we can get a little bit more room. I like it where it's at, and it's right in the middle of the way, so anyway. Okay, first thing I bought was this book by Dan Brown. It has nothing to do with junk journals, but uh, I love his books, and I don't have the print version of it, and how can you pass it up when it's a quarter? So, got that. And then this one was 50 cents. I got it mainly because it was old. It says, uh, Happy Living, A Guide for Brides. Possibly a wedding book, but it's kind of grungy. And I don't think of grunge and weddings really in the same breath. So I'm not sure. But it does have some old vintage photos and stuff. And it had this great handwritten note about, um, you know, wishing people luck with their wedding. So anyway, for 50 cents, I got that book. And then there was an estate sale, and I'm not sure. I guess everything was half price, maybe, because it, they said that it was a um, dollar for the hardbacks, unless they were kids' books, and they were three dollars. And um, anyway, I got this one because, like I said in previous videos, look, look how pitiful it is. Um, my daughter's a theater major and acting plays for boys and girls, so I'm not sure. You know, it's fun. So anyway, got that. And I think it was a dollar or something like that. Because all this stuff in this stack I get ready to show you was at one estate sale. And he charged me $10. And I think I actually had something else too. And I'm not sure what it was. But anyway, this. And then I couldn't resist the little engine that could because I love trains. We live not too far from a train. Train's part of my life where I live. So um, this one is from... doesn't even have a date. But it's pretty worn. I mean, there's no way the spine will survive it, and it needs corners, but I don't care. Uh, I'm going to do it anyway. So, oh, there it is. Oh, boy. I'm not good at, <laughs> at Roman numerals. Someone can tell me, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, got that. And then this one was there. I got it, too, just because I love the pictures of the birds. And I, I keep buying bird pictures and bird books so I guess I mean look that would just be perfect the whole page is perfect so um I don't know it's gonna be hard to cut this one up even though the cover is just in pitiful shape but anyway great pictures I got this one because I've been collecting stuff to do like fourth of July and this had the Liberty Bell and it said American Life and uh ideals so even though it's very worn um I went ahead and got it, and there's not much in, as far as, uh, you know, photos or anything that you could uh, use. It's, um, oh, but look, library card. Oh, love it. Okay, um, there's another date, I guess. No, no, no. Oh, look, 1919. Oh, my gosh, it's 100 years old. See, I just, I don't know that I can do that with these. I just don't know that I can cut it up. It's so old. Okay, and then look what I found. I've been wanting one of these forever. I did find one a long time ago, but the ring was no good, so I couldn't use it. I did gut it and use the insides, but this one looks perfect. So I'm going to do another five ring binder, and it's definitely going to be a garden themed. So um, look for that in my future. And then I bought this one, Thinking Glue Book, because you know I have lots of gardening stuff, lots of flower stuff. So I love the cover. doesn't need anything done to it. Lots of pictures to, you can use. So, glue book coming my way. And then this is the first thing I picked up at that estate sale. And it's uh, uh, suede and then some like ribbon stuff here over that. I mean, that's not even why I got it. I got it because the pages are pretty and uh, garden-y looking. So. And it had a bookmark in it. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, that was from the estate sale. And these two pillowcases that I'm using as my background, I got those last week, I think, at a garage sale. And I only paid like a dollar for both of them. And I got to look at them. They're just perfect. I may not cut those up either. I may use them. You just never know with me. Okay, and another one. A garage sale, I bought this curtain for a dollar. And it's got all that Battenberg lace on it, which... I just used a piece of this in the um, journal I'm making for uh, Art Zoology's uh, design team project. So um, definitely was happy to get some more. And 
This was 50 cents, and I looked at it real close. I'm pretty sure that's hand crocheted. I'm not sure, but it's a really pretty trim. Got two of them. And same place I got this for 50 cents. I think this was an estate sale as well. So it was either the same estate sale or a different one. I'm not sure. We went to two. And one garage sale we went to, they were... Um, saying the bags of jewelry was 50 cents, so I got some that I thought I could, um, you know, break apart and use the beads. So, variety of colors. That one had lots of flowers in it, so of course I picked it up. I like the colors of that. And that kind of goes with something I got at another yard sale. This was a, a church was having this yard sale, and all their dresses and things were a dollar. And I'm not really sure what this is. It's definitely a dress or clothing, but it's kind of like wire in the neck. I'm not sure. But I don't know if you can tell it on camera, but under the sunlight, it's got this iridescent green. It's really pretty. Then it has these um, crystal buttons on it, or whatever you would call them. So anyway, got that for a dollar. I'll be cutting that up for something. So that's fun. And it helped out the church as well. It was a great day. We probably went to like 20 yard sales. Some flowers. I think these are definitely from Hobby Lobby, or I've seen them there. So love that giant puzzle pieces. If you've seen any of my earlier videos, I show how I decorate these and use them as tucks in a journal. Then that was 25 cents. 25 cents for some die cuts of trees, Christmas trees. This is all from there. Okay, I got a Reader's Digest condensed book somewhere. I like the pattern there. Thinking about fall. And I love using the page, the old pages for um, making book pockets and journaling cards. So anyway, there's that. And one of the last garage sales we went to, there was a bag of crochet stuff there. And I asked the lady how much. And she said, well, did you look through it? And I said, well, sort of. And she said, well... Uh, this is old, and this is old, and this is old. And she said, well, this isn't old. But said, a lot of this is old. And when she's saying that, I'm thinking, oh, she's going to lay a big number on me. She said, how about two bucks? I said, okay, I'll take it for two, old or new. And then she said, I'm going to give you this. So she threw that in there. Then I asked her about these uh, napkins that had a hand uh, embroidery on there. She said, well, those that's a lot of work. How about a dollar? I said, yeah. And the whole time I'm standing there, I'm thinking, yeah, this is a lot of work, but the crochet is a whole lot more work. So anyway, it was a great day. I got lots of stuff to keep me busy, and I guess I better get busy. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.